Hi traders, I finished my day very red today. As you can see, I'm down more than $22,000 and I want to discuss with you what happened today. The reason to what happened today, because it's very important to understand what goes on in my mind and maybe possibly in your minds as well at some point where something like what happened to me today may happen to you. So let's talk about it a little bit in order to maybe, you know, just maybe prevent something like that happening in the future as well. So, you know, I started my day with two losers. One was MRK and the other one was MRNA. I had two trades in MRNA. You see my total trade, my total loss in MRNA here is $21,000, but approximately half of it was my first trade and half of it was my second trade. So I started with two losing trades, MRK and, M and MRNA. And you know what, I, I, right now, and when I'm trying to reflect at what happened, I kind of wanted to get back to green territory. And more than that, I was hoping to get to green and very green territory. Now, let me go back and explain what happened here. When I took my second mRNA trade and then my, face, my Facebook trade, both of them did really good. My entry at mRNA, my second entry in mRNA was right over here and my target was right over there and I did not take my partial. I did not take my partial because at that point I could have covered my first loss. I could have covered my loss in mRNA and MRK and I could have been approximately flat for the day. But I wanted more. I was looking at the S&P 500. And if you take a look at the S&P 500, let me show you the chart here so you can see. I was looking at the S&P 500 and the S&P 500 was really moving higher, very, very strong today. And looked like it's not about to pull back. And it did not. It continued. So I came to the stupid understanding that my targets, the f the, my, 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 my initial targets could be much, much better. And I did not stand to my original plan. I had a plan. I knew where, I, my, where I'm supposed to take my partials. I'm trading with a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. That's my standard. And you know, other traders may use one to two or one to three or one to four or whatever, and there's nothing wrong about it. One-to-one -one risk reward works perfect for me mentally. Because I'm, you know, me personally, I'm not, I, don't, I hate going through pullbacks. I like to get into a trade, get to my target, take my partial, and then hope for the continued run. That works for me better. But when I starting, I start going through pullbacks, I almost moved out of Facebook. If you take a look at uh, what happened to Facebook, you can see here that it came down. Hold on a second. It came down and I was almost out. I had my stop right under this low over here and it was like 20 cents away from my stop. And then it moved higher and I was really lucky to stay in this trade. I mean, it just moved higher very quickly. And for some reason, uh, there's some news going on in Facebook, I was saved. Now, mRNA, I could have had a green trade. It just moved over the highs, but I couldn't take this pullback. You know, when I'm trading, I'm usually using large size. Again, it works better for me with a one-to-one -one risk reward and large size, and then I take my partials and I put the risk behind me and I have my profit cushion and I'm doing okay. But I can't go through big pullbacks. I'm not the kind of person who could live through pullbacks and then hope for a new high. That's me mentally. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I work. So for me, one-to-one -one risk reward is the perfect thing to do. So why did I stand to my plan? I was planning to take a one-to-one -one risk reward. I had it in my hand, I could have clicked that button and I could have covered my initial loss in both MRK and MRNA. I was greedy. I was hoping for more. I convinced myself that the market should continue higher. I was right about that. And that MRNA is just about to break out over the highs and then probably I could get a fantastic trade. Well, I was wrong. It went through a pullback. I couldn't stand. I couldn't take the hit. I moved out. I had a second losing trade in MRNA. But again, that's the way I'm personally, mentally built. How about you? Is that the way you trade? I mean, what's your risk reward? Would you like to have a discussion? How about writing it right here down in the comments below? Let's have a discussion. I promise to answer each and every one of your questions. But you know, again, it's very personal, but it could happen to you as well. 
maybe a little bit different scenario when you're losing what are you trying to do when you're losing are you trying to cover your loss and then maybe you're taking a very risky trade or are you trying to hang on a little bit for a bigger target which you shouldn't just like i did today i mean there's plenty of ways of losing money <laughs> that's one of them i guess anyway uh it doesn't often happens to me it does but quite rare i'm a very experienced trader but i know that uh for less experienced traders than I am, it does happen probably more often than it happens to me. Anyway, thank you for watching. You can subscribe to this channel if you like, there's a button right here. And if you like this video, please give us a thumb up, it would really be appreciated. So thank you again. Don't forget, World Series of Day Trading is just about to start. You can sign up, there are links below and a short video to explain what is the World Series of Day Trading, the world's biggest day trading competition. So join us, it's free, and uh, I would love to see you there. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. The World Series of Day Trading returns for the sixth time, and this time the biggest prizes in history. Starting the 20th of October and lasting for six trading days. To take part in WSDT, you have to register and pass the verification process. It's your time to prove you deserve the most prestigious title in day trading. The best day traders on the planet gather to discover the new champion of the world. Trade a demo account for six days and prove you are the world's best trader. New to day trading? Don't worry about it. Whatever your level of experience, you're welcome to join. Win access to the biggest prize of all. It's time to prove that you are the next champion of the world. Register now to guarantee your seat.